Hey guys, Andy here from the Songwriters Lounge. I'm going to take you through my latest track, Without You, featuring the talented Bethan Horton, and I'm going to show you how I built my vocal chops in that song in five minutes. So let's do it. So I'm just going to show you now what the final track sounds like. There's two methods that you can use to build vocal chops, one of which is putting vocal samples into a sampler instrument and playing the, at the instrument on a MIDI keyboard, or the second one is to chop up a sample vocal chop and put it into your own melody and rhythm. And that's what I did in this case. So I'm going to show you that now. So we start off very simply with two vocal chop samples, and I've got the first one here, which I'll show you. And the second. So very cool, very polished already vocal chop samples, but they would not work in my track. For example, So you can see there that that just would not work. So you've got to build it into your song and make it your own. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, these notes are probably out of key. So you've got to know your key and you've also got to put them into time. So what you want to do is you want to take this sample wave file and you want to chop it into, I guess, little vocal chops that you like. So. I typically go for like nice sounding vowels or nice sounding kind of plosives that really punch and stand out. So let's see what we can do here. So straight away I'm thinking that this I sounds quite good. So you can see there, I quite like this sample so I'm just going to chop there, I chop there, add another track and I'm going to call it vocal chops final and I'm going to drag and drop these just there so I like that first one so I like the whatever that is so I think I've got enough of the ones I like from this sample here and I'm going to just search through and do the exact same on this sample And then basically it's time to experiment and have a bit of fun. So keep listening to the track. If you want to dial a, mid a melody in with your MIDI keyboard, you can do. Or you can just drag them into place, pitch shift them around about where you want and add lots of effects and that kind of thing and have a lot of fun. So let's do it. So I really like that. So this is not what I finished off with and it's certainly not what's in my final track, but I've built this right now from scratch just to let you see how quick and simple it is to build something that sounds relatively good in quite a short space of time. So I'm going to play it back now. So you basically just need to know your way around chopping it up put it into the correct rhythm, pitch shift it into something that sounds quite hooky, quite dynamic, quite interesting. And before you know it, you'll have a full vocal chop hook. So let's listen to my final one again, just to see and show you how simple it is.
And that's it. It's as simple as that. So you've got no excuse not to go and try it now. And uh, hopefully that was of interest. Please, please like and subscribe our channel for more interesting content. We've also got a brand new podcast and this song that you have heard is out now. So please go check that out on Spotify and all the other platforms. It's called Without You by myself, Andrew Bryan, and thank you very much in advance. So take care, guys. Cheers. Now you lose.